As more and more data reveals negative impacts for kids carrying smartphones, parents at schools across America have signed a pledge to wait. The campaign is called Wait Until 8th. And one North Texas elementary school is the first public school in North Texas to have an active pledge in every grade. Fox News' Lori Brown live at Trophy Club to tell us more. Hi, Lori. Hi, Clarice. As school districts across North Texas are adopting new policies to ban cell phones during the school day, now a lot of parents are realizing they need to do the same thing at home. Our job was just to put the information, statistics, data in front of the families, and that was it. It was a very welcomed pledge, yes. Sarah Kleinman and Megan Duffy know the pressure for kids to get smartphones is strong. Their oldest kids are both in middle school. The mindset of some of our middle school, high school kids is that everyone has it and I don't. And they say that is where the wait until eighth pledge comes in. The pledge is to wait at least until after eighth grade before giving your child a smartphone. Flip phones and smartwatches still have the green light under the pledge. When 10 parents in a grade sign the pledge, it becomes active and those families can find out who else is on board with same weight when it comes to smartphones. I loved the fact that it kind of reduced the peer pressure of even adults and parents, not just children, but it reduced my peer pressure of knowing who else in my children's grade and what other parents were kind of on board and supporting the initiative. Felicia Dunn is a mother of a third and first grader at Beck Elementary in Northwest ISD. Like many districts recently, Northwest has banned cell phones. We're right. the parents and it starts at the home truly and if we can set boundaries at the home with our children on devices and have a district like Northwest ISD that's standing by it as a district and as a school, um, it really just helps solidify the efforts across the boards. After years of unfettered access to smartphones among kids, Dunn says parents are now starting to recognize the damage they can do. We didn't get a manual when technology was born, <laughs> and we definitely didn't get a manual as parents to say, this is the safe spot. Some parents who are more experienced than us <laughs> and have older students were saying, I would have done this. The word regret was used a ton. These moms say they believe delaying smartphones is helping their kids' mental well-being and social skills. It gets them out of the house and gets them active and playing together. Just finding ways to entertain yourself, whether it's going fishing or yeah, biking around the neighborhood, just back to imaginative play. Kleinman says she hopes Beck Elementary getting every grade on board will inspire others. That we're paving the way and I, I think a lot of other schools are reaching out to get information from us. 75,000 parents around the country have signed the Wait Until 8th Pledge. We've put more information about it on our website at fox4news.com. Clarice. All right, lots of parents are going to want to know more about that. Lori, thank you.